In this video, we will learn how to plot force versus displacement curve. First, let's go to step module and change step a little bit. So let's click on edit and go to increment. Here we have increment initial increment one and maximum increment one. And the total time period is one. Uh, we want to reduce this increment size so that we can get uh, enough data to plot. If we don't change, then what will happen is a backus will create only one data and that's data point and that's not a very good thing to plot okay to show on a plot. So let's reduce it. We will reduce it to 0.1 and I will reduce maximum also to be equal to 0.1. Okay, so let's click OK. And one more thing we want to do is go to assembly module and let's create a point from where we want to uh the point the data okay so what we can do is go to tool and let's create a set first create and we will create a node set okay let's name it node and continue and all the back is source and nodes, all the nodes. And what we want to do is we will create a node somewhere in the middle in the geotextile layer. So let's choose this get node and just select it by left click and click here done. Okay, now we have created the set. Now we can go back. To the step module again and click on output history output requests manager and create so let's first name it pose and domain should be set select the node okay and everything uh, let's remain it as it is displacement and that's the translation displacement and that's we want to get u1 okay and for reaction forces rather from here and rf1 reaction forces in the direction one okay now click ok and we can go ahead to uh, job module and we will run the geotextile model this one click submit click ok we will wait for it to complete now the model is completed and we can go ahead and check the results click on results and okay these are results we will go to the menu and click on results and history output okay click on that and the, all the history output results will be listed here now we want to find what uh, we have given to we were required so one is reaction forces here spatial displacement here what you do is first let's save them save as uh, this is a spatial displacement so let's name it u1 let's uncheck it and okay okay perhaps something exists okay let's uh name it this and click ok reaction forces click on save as and rf1 x okay okay now let's dismiss it Go to tool, 
for xy data and manager okay now the data which we have just created are listed here okay rf1x and u1x okay now what we are going to do is to combine these two data so that the time element uh, is removed and these two data we can plot on the x and y axis okay so what we are going to do is create a new data create operate on x y data continue and now we are going to select this combine function here and you will see that combine function uh, works like x comma x that means one data at first element and second element is the uh, second data so what we are going to do uh, keep cursor there and we will select uh, perhaps rf1 as the first u1x as the first data so double click on it and then enter comma and double click on rf1x okay now click on save as and this will be rf u data and this data rf u data is the data which we are required to plot okay so what we here two things we can do uh, we can just plot this expression right here okay uh, by clicking on plot expression you can plot and see uh, the, the curve looks like this force versus displacement curve and if you want to extract this data what we can do is go to tool again xy data manager and the data which we have just created that is our rfu we have just created so click on it and edit it and what we what we can do is just copy this data to excel sheet and whatever software you want to copy it there you can generate a plot as per your edits okay so that's how we generate uh, force versus displacement curve in Abacus.